Welcome back everyone. Before I get too deep in this video, I want to say I love iPhones a lot and I'm about to go on a rant, but I use an iPhone every day. I love these phones, but there's one thing that I probably hate the most about these iPhones. And I think for a majority of people, it probably won't affect them personally. And it's funny that I'm complaining about it because it's probably like the number one asset of owning an iPhone and it's kind of off of it, but not. So basically the thing I hate the most is the updates. <laughs> And it's not really what you think. It's not the update cycle or anything like that. It's really when I have to download the update through my settings app. That is when I run into the most amount of problems I've ever had in my life on any device at all. It's funny because the update download speeds aren't that bad. Obviously, you can you know, depending on where you're at, when you go into settings, obviously you go into general, you go into software update. Usually downloading the update itself doesn't take that much time, you know, but there's always a random issues that I run into, but on top of that, there are almost always half an hour to an hour wait times of the thing just being stuck on preparing update. Now, obviously this is running into another problem, which checking for an update, but I guess I can't find it. Now there's a couple of issues that I always run into. This one is update requested. The other one is, I don't even know what I want. The other one, it's like preparing update. Now, most of the time it does eventually get through and it's fine. But recently I've even run into issues where it downloads the update and then it makes me re-download it because there were initial problems with that first download. Now, here's the thing. I wouldn't really complain about it too much, but compared to the competition, compared to Google, Samsung, all the other Android phones, when I'm downloading an update through them and through their software cycle, through their software app, whatever, I've never really ran into any other problems. I've never updated a phone and that phone run into issues. I've updated a ton of phones, my Google Pixels, my Samsungs, even my OnePluses sometimes. And I have never ran into any boot loops or any issues and the updates only take like a couple of minutes. So once I click download, they download them and I even get a progress bar of how far they've downloaded. But on top of that, and you kind of get that and look another problem and I'm fine with the download speeds and everything from iOS side, but just being stuck on preparing update is just the most annoying thing ever. And it happens to me whenever there's a new iOS update from phone and it's not even for the oldest phones for my new phones too, like my iPhone 11, as you can see, I'm running to another problem, which is okay. But on phones like my iPhone 6s, my 7, my 7 Pluses, I review a ton of those different phones. And, and I always run into issues when I'm updating. As you can see, I'm running into another issue here. This was totally not planned. But even for those phones, and it's not even just one or two phones. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably only have one phone, maybe two phones, your main one, and then a work phone. For somebody like me who has to you know review a ton of those different softwares, on all those different iPhones, like it's just like so weird. I will never understand it. And I didn't, and it didn't even hit me till the other day when I updated my Galaxy S20 to One UI 2.5. That wasn't necessarily a super small update, but it wasn't really a huge update. But not only did I get like a progress bar saying, you know, oh, this long until it's downloaded, but it also gave me the option of just installing it right away. Like it literally allowed me to install it right then and there after like a couple of minutes of it downloading versus on iOS, every time it's downloaded, it doesn't allow me to install it until it's done preparing the update. So I hope Apple can take away that preparing update thing. And I hope they can make the software just maybe a little bit in more intuitive to install. Like I know it's super easy. You click the button and it goes through, but it takes a long time. And on top of that, sometimes I might be in the middle of something and then, you know, I get a little pop-up that says, oh, do you want to install the update now? And it tells me to type in my passcode and I don't really want to do that. And somehow it tricks me to do it because I'm in a rush and I'm like, oh, crap, like oh, I got to do something. And then it randomly updates my phone, but that's for a different video. The main thing I hate about it is just being stuck on preparing update for a super long time or being stuck on update requested for a super long time. So it's been a minute since I made a rant video, so I figured I might as well talk about it here. <laughs> if you guys agree with me, let me know. If you guys don't, then also let me know because, you know, maybe I'm complaining about nothing. I don't know. Hit the like button if you guys enjoy the video, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.